Hiya. <laughs> recording right now does not feel natural. This is this is weird. This is this is. I'm gonna just take a minute to get you know used to speaking on camera. Music, songs, Todd Terje. <laughs> Channel the passion. I've been wanting to do more reviews this year than I've actually done. I've only done like three reviews this year and I've been very passionate about a, lo a lot of um, recent records and stuff but my heart has just not really been with YouTube lately. It's just been difficult for me to muster up the, the, the energy to like edit and talk and stuff. Hopefully by the time this video is out though, my new record has been announced. So that's where my attention has mostly been this year creatively. But yeah, I hope you're all okay. Sorry for the lack of uploads though. Regardless, you know, this is a good time for me to be uploading more since everyone's, you know, isolating and all that. Now is a very like opportune time for me to be consistent with videos and I haven't really been. I'm sorry about that. Hopefully that will change in the next few months, but yeah, my heart just hasn't really been in making reviews. So I thought for this video I should do a the beat tape playlist because that's something I'm, I'm typically a little bit more enthused with, you know, because I'm talking about songs I've just been really passionately loving lately. And these are essentially the songs that have really been kind of keeping me sane and shit <laughs> throughout this whole uh, pandemic and everything. I work at a supermarket too, which leaves me like fully exposed to this shit. Every time I have a spare moment to just like, to just breathe. I just want to listen to a song. It's one of the following is the one I will go to. And I want to know what, exactly what songs have been doing the same thing for you lately. In the comments, let's, let's discuss. We gotta, we gotta reach out and talk. We gotta be, be, you know, gotta, gotta, gotta embrace communion out here. You feel me? Let me shut the fuck up and talk, talk about, about a song. <laughs> DJ Seinfeld, fucking time spent away from you has been on repeat lately. And I love this opening track. I love that vocal sample. It's so infectious. It just creeps into my head all the damn time. And when that like video gamey little melody kind of joins it, it it's a perfect match. It just, they, they, both the sample and that like synth melody align so nicely. It's a great balance of kind of melancholic but also really just like, really, yeah, really just earwormy, really infectious at the same time. Just such a sucker for like, just, I don't know, like somber sounding house music. I think, I just think that shit's so fucking comforting. It's, it's a really, really one of a kind atmosphere it gives me. Track two on the playlist is something a bit more fucking joyful, I guess. Kashmir Cat, Mira Maru. The production on the sound design is real kind of like playful and, and almost like purposefully kind of trivial sounding. Like the, everything sounds kind of like a stock instrument. It makes the song feel kind of weirdly wondrous and childlike, I think. And all the chords, all the melodies are just so impossible to not get in your head. There's, there's just really soft piano chords. There are so many just so delicate, just like charming little melodic embellishments throughout the track that I just find super irresistible. Track three is one of the most lovable songs of 2020. I think this dude's sense of humor is so contagious. I've talked about Masego before. I, I think I just find something about his, his charisma, his, his how much he embraces personality and his like vocal delivery and lyrics. Like he's just so unashamedly just being his own goofy self all the time. And I, I yeah, I find it really contagious. And the beat is immaculate too. He, he, he produced the whole thing himself. You know, he's a real good saxophone player. He can play a whole load of instruments. He's a talented, skilled guy and he uses all of that to really great effect here. Yeah. Talking about how Will Smith and J. Cole are on his cell phone, how K. Dot freestyled on his beat, just like recalling just like cool moments, like celebrity moments he's had. It's just so charming. I just think this one's really smile inducing. Track four is Pharaohs by Subtract. Subtract, my guy, my guy, where are you, bro? Where did you go? You just dropped that save yourself project and then just dipped and like i'm just over here like bro i need you to come back and make this shit bro this 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 song right here bro that chorus oh my god that chorus is crazy it's such a fucking good i can't when that like delay reverb sort of filter gets like gets like placed on it like midway through and it just it just goes from being really just like groovy to just really like intoxicating it's so fluid and the vocalist on top of it i can't think of her name right now. Yeah, yeah, Rose's Gabor. Rose's Gabor. She sound she sounds so perfect. She's like just the right balance of this sticky, but not like overpowering. It's it's just like it's just so 
comfortable. Everything about the song is comfortable as fuck. Like, it's not the most, like, mind-blowing sound play or anything like that. It's, it's just so precise. Everything about the track feels carefully put together, and it's just such a funky fucking jam. Speaking of irresistible, precise, groovy songs, uh, Caribou's new record has got a few of them, but Never Come Back. One of the singles, man. That is such a banger, man. I fucking love that track. It's a full on like, like deep house song from the guy, which is really cool. And he has, it has these like little vocal chirps and piano chords that are just so infectious. Like I could just hear the shit on loop. Like I just, I find it so enveloping, but really like playful and dancey at the same time. And I love the vocal performance that Caribou himself brings as well. His soft like, and you never come back to those little melodies he throws in there just adds so much, man. And there's this really cool cool like pad that comes in like midway through really subtly it's like you, I didn't catch it until like my third or fourth listen this is like really beautiful like overarching like synth pad that just soars over the whole groove like midway through and it's, it's something about it it's, it's just life affirming as fuck all around this is just a wicked sing continuing the house theme with uh, the next track Leon Vinehall it's uh the house it's just house of dupree is it something house of dupree it's just house of dupree. yeah cool i got it i got it right. this is an eight minute sprawling like tech house song and it is fucking awesome it, like the, there's this vocal line that just like kind of repeats throughout the whole track i don't know what it's saying it's just like hey, just, hey, just, hey, just, hey. I, don't, I don't know what, I, don't, I don't know what the vocal thing is saying but it's something really like urgent and like just intense about it and when the when that when that gets paired with those like just silky fucking synths it is it's so fucking cool and midway through the track there is an amazing switch up that is the most satisfying oh, oh my god okay now we're gonna deviate away uh, to something a little bit more <laughs> cold, cold blooded jpeg mafia and tk maidza with um jpeg mafia my god can you chill this verse is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god, when he says, oh my god, when he says, um, he says like, set a fella up, I'ma make it look random. Like that part is the most hype shit. He's gonna stage some shit up. He's gonna make it look like it was some random, but nah, bro, he was behind. Ooh, that TK Ma Major as well is brilliant. I love her verse as well. I like how kind of like, just kind of lax she sounds, but she still sounds like mad cop. 24 seven, that'd be white. Hey, like, bro, yeah, I love, and her chorus is so catchy. Man, everything about this song, it's just a all out, just rampaging fucking banger. It's, it's such a confidence boosting song. Next track on the playlist is on the more like summery, fun, groovy side of things. Never heard this artist before in my life. Literally only this one track. Recently I came across it thanks to Rick, actually. I think he submitted the song. Kata by uh, KNV. This shit is awesome. Oh my god, man. From her vocal performance just sounding so like, it's the perfect balance of just like, inspired but kind of dramatic. And the, the, the synth line that comes in at the very beginning is infectious, man. One of those tracks to where every time a new thing gets added to the, like a new layer gets added to the song, it just makes it even better. And the whole song is like five minutes. It's just like, I'm just constantly just like loving it, man. Every melody, every in bit of instrumental, it's just, it's just fluid as fuck. And the, and the piano is the backbone for all of it. It just kicks off the song. There's like chords that's so life affirming and uplifting. This, this is the type of music I'm like, I'm like low key needing right now. <laughs> like if you have like a dancey, just like real comfortable, precise sort of like foundation, like it's all super well built and well paced, and it's just like super just uplifting like that's the type of music i'm really like fucking with at the minute and this track speaks to all of that i gave intimacy by block party a listen recently slept on album honestly slept on and there was a track called signs on it that i was pretty drawn to it has these like kind of cycling bells just kind of repeating throughout the whole song alongside these like swelling strings it's kind of kind of entrancing and Kelly's vocal performance is you know typically has that sort of drama and weight to it that he's really good at bringing he sounds really just like emotive expressive you know the way the song just kind of clouds around your head for the first couple of minutes is just really irresistible but like at the two minute I want to say like 20 second ish mark there is this synth melody that comes in and it is so sexy it's such a pretty song this is one of the prettier uh, one of the least anguished sounding block party songs that I've come across so far. Speaking of songs with that kind of hopeful tone going on, this next track is by Dirty Projectors from the album Swing Low Magellan. It's called Just From Chevron, and it's one of the most sweet sounding tracks they have. It's like the guitar plucks and like the claps and shit, the like the group vocals, it's so like endearing and warm. Uh, the lyrics are talking about, I think it's like a guy who's like about, he's like about to die. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> 
On this song, there's a guy. <laughs> on this song, there's a guy who's like on his deathbed, basically, and he's like, he's like worked for a company that's like an oil, it's like an oil rig. He like got in like an accident at like this oil rig, and he's like, basically giving his final words on this track. And he's like low key aware that the company he's been working for are like trash, <laughs> but he wants to like end off his life on like a moral high note, and he's like having this moment of like reflection on the song. And it's it's a really pretty track. I think I just think the tone and the sentiment behind like that idea, plus the music backing it up, it just creates such a warm kind of aura. It gives it like a real warm aura that just just seeps into me every time I listen to the song. And yeah, it's it's motivating. It's nice. Chance de la Soul with Into the Stars. New record just came out from Chance de la Soul. It is fucking awesome. I love this 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 band produce i don't even know like if it's a group or if it's i wouldn't be shocked if it's like a whole group of like i think it is just one person though i don't, I don't know who they are but, but honestly i'm a huge fan this track has these really beautiful like summery like sunset at the beach type kind of atmosphere like guitar string strums and stuff it's so beautiful there's like one particular moment where like the guitar kicks in in this track that Oh my god, it's so fucking pretty. Like there are these really gorgeous like synth arpeggios going off and it, it's really like kaleidoscopic, but then that guitar hits and it's just, it's so lovely. And those like, those like kind of communitive group vocals kind of chant away as well, which give it that just added sense of just like warmth and like comfort. Such a brilliantly assembled, well-paced, pristine song. Like, I don't know what it is, but like bro, every every time I hear a track from these guys or this guy or what, I, I don't know. Everything again just feels in its exact right place. Like nothing needs to be different. Everything is how it should be. It's really beautiful stuff. I love this track. Milo, bruh, bruh, Milo has been therapy <laughs> this year, bro. I, he is in general. I, I define Milo one of the most, probably the most refreshing rapper to listen to. I, I think he, he honestly might be my favorite rapper. I, I fucking really love just, just, just hearing the dude, like the way he raps, he has this like super conversational tone. Uh, and it's so, it's just lovely. He's, he really just feels like he's saying whatever the hell comes to his head. And it doesn't, he doesn't really care if it like makes sense to you or not, but he just says it regardless. I've been listening to him quite a lot lately. I really, I've been, I really find his music quite, again, like quite comforting. It just, it, just feel, it feels like you have like a, just some, it feels, he feels like he's saying things to you that someone really close to you would say, like a close friend to you would say this shit. But, and, and like, because and like, they just feel comfortable enough to say what they're saying, if that makes sense. And yeah, one song that I've been really enjoying lately, Myth Building Exercise Number 9, the opening track to his budding Ornithologist's record. The piano on this song, I love the tone of it, the way it loops, it has this kind of like, kind of dark sort of feeling to it. It's not the most uplifting sounding beat of his or anything, but it works so well because he really sounds like he's in a state of like conflict on this track. He's rambling like he, and in that very conversational way, but he's like, it's, it feels like something's really weighing on his brain, which just gives it a particularly kind of somber drawing factor that I find really entertaining. Oh my God, this next track, oh my God. Okay, Lil Uzi Vert. Okay, we got to talk about Lil Uzi Vert. Okay, I've never been a Lil Uzi Vert fan like that, but obviously I was very excited to hear Eternal Take since the rollout was had so much hype behind it and he released it it's out now and then on top of that he dropped Lil Uzi Vert versus the world part two a week after return all take like he has been going crazy this year loads of new music from him I've been really enjoying it I think he's been killing it honestly never been like an Uzi fan he's really made me come around to his to his music a lot and uh, one track in particular that I am um, every time I hear it I'm just fucking floored by it. strawberry peels young thug gunner this beat dude what the fuck this beat is so energetic it's so explosive that like weird squeaky like sirenish type fucking noise that just plays up the whole thing it is the most animated shit ever it's so great and young thug the way he kicks it off like, i'm on that drink i'm about to kill I'm about to oh my god <laughs> Fuck, I dropped my mic, my mistake, because I'm excited. I tend to have my volume, like when I'm listening to music, personally, I tend to have it around like 80%, 70%, 80%. I like it a little bit loud, you know? But when this track comes on and I hear, I've been over, I'm making new, standing my money, like my name should kill, I'm like, full blow. <laughs> the Weekend. The week. The Weekend, bro. I gotta review this album. I need to review this fucking album, man. I, oh my God. Okay, I love The Weekend. I, if you've watched my channel for like a decently consistent amount of time, you would know that I kind of low-key stand The Weekend. <laughs> I think he's really great. And he just dropped After Hours. 
and I could not be happy with this fucking album. This is such a great ra- I I'm in love with it. And the one song I am I have been the most obsessed with on this thing is Cause I've been the hardest to love Try to let me go Bro, the instrumental sounds like some shit Aphex Twin would do But The Weeknd sounds amazing on top of it Instrumentals all over this record are just so thick and immersing, man Really beautiful sound palette I, I just, I love the, 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 the skittish kind of breakbeat drums I think that's such an awesome backdrop for The Weeknd on this song And I really feel able <laughs> Able <laughs> To, uh, to picture the scenarios he sings about on this record. I think he's really good at imagery, even when it's something as kind of basic as just like a confused relationship or just like the weekend himself getting fully consumed in the indulgence of the fame and he's just losing himself in all of it. Like, I, I, mean, I can really vividly picture every expression, every emotion that he's trying to channel with his voice. Like, he, I think he's a really emotive performer. And this has got to be the most intoxicated I've been by a weekend album since Kiss Land. I love this fucking album. It's so consistent. Every fucking song is brilliant. I can't... I can't, there's not one miss for me. It's genuinely just not a single miss. Like, I have so few complaints with it. And yeah, this track right here is, I need to hear Weekend just do fucking creative shit. Like, this shit is so creative. Like, this fucking song, oh my god. Love it so much. Next track on the playlist is from the internet. This song is the most adorable shit ever. I, I'm not, like, huge on the internet overall. Like, they've got, like, a few songs I really, I really mess with, but their albums typically don't tend to, like, resonate with me in the same way as, like, their singles. But I came back to Hive Mind recently and Mood is such a cute little track about just like Sid is just like trying to understand what the status is between herself and this girl. Like what's the relationship? She's trying to just like, you know, just, you know, we're just hanging out. She's just trying to establish the mood, you know, it's, 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 she's trying to see what the, what the, sta- what, what, what's, what's popping, popping right now? now. The way she just frames how she's kind of slowly getting to know this person is so fucking beautiful and and the instrumental is the most glorious shit particularly the last minute of the song oh, it's so beautiful it's it's just that last minute has just been playing in my head so much today specifically god man i love this fucking song yo young nudie oh my god young nudie i wasn't into slime here with his his collab with pierre bourne didn't really care for that but honestly i might have to go back and hear it again because this new anyways album is has been really in, entertaining me lately this is such a good trap release the beats are fucking awesome but the highlight is nudie himself bro his flows on this record are amazing i Jesus. The song I chose was a uh, No Comprende, the beat on this track. That like bongo drum that ding, 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 ding. That shit is so fucking great. The second verse is my favorite part of the song when he's like, no, 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 two guns. Oh my God, his flow is amazing. I, I really underestimated how good of a performer he is. It took me a minute to get over his voice. His vocal tone is, is, is kind of samey. I just kind of like embraced just how well, how charismatic he was, how well performed the songs were, how good is, how tight his flows were. And I just, I just fell in love with this fucking album. And this track has just been on repeat. It's such a banger. Zutomeo is next. Uh, I can't think of what Lily said the fucking translation was for this. Shout out to Lily. Shout out to Lily. Oh, this album is awesome. It's like a J-pop record. Really, really like larger than life, huge in scope, grandiose music. And the arrangement on, of this song in particular is stunning. The string sections, the pizzicato string melodies and shit that just laced throughout are so like inspiring and just invigorating. Like really fucking love the chorus too, the melody that comes in and the hook, the <laughs> shit is so infectious. I'm consistently in awe of just the arrangement of everything, the layering, the, the, the production here is so good. Sweet Trip with Fish. Uh, Sweet Trip, man. Sweet Trip are the fucking greatest artists to ever live, ever in the history of anything. If they ever make a reu- reunion, I will literally cry. This is the more shoegazy side of Sweet Trip. If you never listen to Sweet Trip, it's like shoegaze mixed with like explosive, crazy, glitchy IDM, like electronic breakbeats and shit like that, mixed with like warm shoegazy guitars. This is the ultimate instance of like of shoegaze Sweet Trip. This track right here. It's 11 minutes. It's just the sprawling, just azure of sunny guitars and heavenly vocals it is so gorgeous i could just live in this fucking song man this is i just never wanted to end when it ends i'm just like oh yeah right life outside of this one song exists i forgot oh my god man oh my god bro 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 (laughs) the best like first listen to an album from 2020 has 
easily been this new against a lot bro i was fucking blown away by this thing when i first heard it and it's just been getting better i can't put the shit down this is the type of like when i hear like oh yo nicholas jar making a, a bangers album this is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I have in mind. And I'm just like in love with it. Oh my God. His sound play is mental. And this track, it's like a kind of low key sort of minimalist, like outside a house type song. It's, it's really fucking infectious though. The, his use of vocal sampling, super creative. The way the melody kind of like swells up in the second half too is really fucking cool. Man, I just love every goddamn song on this new album. I was so shocked by it. I, I was like expecting it to be kind of more in the same vein as the first one. And I wasn't really a huge fan of that first Against Logic album personally. So when I start hearing the, the distortion, the, the warped sound design, the creative vocal samples and drops, and I was just so fucking stunned by the, the aesthetic of this new one. I think it's so fucking good, man. Mick Jenkins with The Circus really didn't care for the EP. Honestly, it was not for me at all. It felt like some leftovers. It really felt like some throwaway shit. With the exception of Carefree, because this track is one of his best fucking songs. <laughs> Literally, the EP is this this track, one of his best songs ever, and then six other completely forgettable. So like, there's no middle ground. It's just like top tier Mick Jenkins and then like bottom tier for the rest of the whole EP. I really, I really, <laughs> Mick Jenkins sounds so fucking in his comfort zone, in his pocket, confident, laser focused, just tight flows, tight bars, and the instrumental is so beautiful to black milk on production such a perfect team up every time when when mick and black milk come together that little guitar twang that pops in every other bar in the instrumental is so fucking pretty really well produced song honestly but speaking of um well produced music clams casino man i was watching one of those like hip-hop samples 2010s videos you know by like nosbo 2007 that you, you've just seen those videos before one where it like shows you the sample and then the song that sampled it i was watching one of the more recent ones and it showed this track, this song is called Realist Alive by Clams Casino. It samples Adele's Hometown Glory. And I'm not fucking exaggerating when I say that like when this track came on during that Nosbo samples video, I was like jaw hit the floor. What the fuck? That is one of the most genius sample flips. Bro, I was, I never heard the track before. I was like, what the hell? This is fucking incredible. I was so fucking amazed by the sample flip. I was like, man, I need to get more into Clams Casino beats because this is beautiful as hell. It really inspired me. I, I tried to make like a Clams Casino type cloudy sort of weird vocal sample type beat. It did. It turned out horribly, but it really inspired me to like be more experimental and weird with the samples I choose in my beats and stuff. Like I, I really loved the atmosphere it made. And I would never have guessed that this was an Adele sample too. It's so fucking clever how he flipped it. Next track though, we're getting close to the end now. Kate Trinada with Free Fighters One Let Go. One of the best choruses on Bubba. The instrumental was one of the most like opulent things I've ever heard Kate Trinada put together. And the vocals and the lyrical idea of just wanting to just completely just feel comfortable, not having to worry, just let go, like someone will catch you there. Like, and it really, it really just gives me that feeling of just like pure comfort, like like all worries are gone. And it just feels like that's what the song is just trying to instill within you. And and I, I feel it a hundred percent every time I play this track. It's such a good fucking song. Smino is up next, uh, the song Clink from Noir, which is a song I initially didn't really care for. I didn't really personally like, feel anything from the song at first i was like okay it's, it's cool i feel like he's made songs like this before i didn't really think anything of it but lately like it's just it's just really grown on me i think the hook has just kind of i never really properly acknowledged just how like catchy the hook is at first i thought the hook was a little bit annoying with like his vocal tone and stuff but like lately i've just been having it in my head all the time and i'm just i, I, I was like i keep getting that hook in my head let me go back and hear the song and i heard the song again I'm like you know what? i was fucking tripping this is a great track it's a great song i don't know why i didn't think it was a great song from the very beginning he's even got some really awesome flows in the first verse and the third verse particularly i, I love him as a performer so goddamn much and yeah, don't know why I wasn't into this track from the beginning, honestly. And that brings us to the final song on the playlist, the closer, the song of the month, the one, the big one, my favorite track that I have been blasting incessantly during this crazy wild quarantine isolation period we all find ourselves in. This is the track that has been keeping me going the most. Todd Terje, Inspector Norse. Okay, the other day I came across it because my friends were doing this like little music song bracket thing and we were all like submitting songs that we all really like and my guy Jack Story, my guy Jack 
Stolt submitted this fucking track. And I was like, oh, what the hell's this? Let me go hear it for the sake of the bracket so I can play along and vote against the other track. I need to be able to hear all the songs, you know? I hit play on this track. And a minute in, I'm just like, this groove is the best shit of all time. <laughs> what the fuck is this? The melodies start coming and it starts building. And halfway through, I am like, in fucking disbelief. It's so dancey and beautifully produced. The pacing is great. It's like six, seven minutes. You just have this giant space of runtime just in, just indulge in the fun. It's such an irresistible song. Like I was like, yo, is every track on this, this dude's album like this? Because what the fuck? I listened to the album, great album, loved it. Thought it was fantastic. This was the best track, but I'm just amazed that no one's, no one, no one thought to to recommend to recommend this shit. Uh, no, I'm, I'm playing, but yeah, this this song, this song, I recommend this. If you have not heard this track, just right now, please, please go and listen to it. Just just headphones on, just jam out to this fuck. It's it's irresistible. I can't say enough good things about it. It's honestly, it's just it's it's amazing. I love it so much. <laughs> I've been playing it like every day, numerous times since I first heard it. There you go. That's the playlist. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're all managing to cope and stay collected and stay strong during this very strange and jarring period. It's been weird as fuck. I think we all kind of wasn't sure what the, what the deal was at first when the news stories of coronavirus were breaking. I was like, what? This, is this like a serious thing? I hear, I hear on the radio they're saying, oh yeah, don't worry. It only kills like 2%. It, it ain't nothing. nothing. <laughs> Two weeks later, it's like, are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy. Um, but I hope you're all doing okay. Hope you're all you've all got your music. You've all, you're all listening to some beautiful music, and it's keeping you going. If you are in in the mood for a chat, or if you want someone to talk to about like a new release or just anything in your life, I'm always here to chat with people. I love it when people hit me up on like DMs or whatever. I, I'm always here for a conversation and people people say like yo yeah, hey what you like people just say hi like I, li I always embrace that it's good to you know you know stay connected so if you do want to just talk about anything feel free to just you know hit me up and shit you're never going to be an inconvenience just feel free if you if you want you're cool obviously no no pressure obviously <laughs> but yeah um thank you again for watching i'll see you on the next video whenever that may be I'm not really sure i've got the time to you know <laughs> to work on vid so hopefully it'll be soon but yeah uh, got a new album coming out pretty soon too, which I think by the time this video is up will have been announced. So I'll put it out right now. New record on the way. So fucking proud of it. Can't wait for it to come out. New single should be out now too, hopefully. I don't know. We'll, I'm not sure how, how reliable my distribution service wants to be this time around, but we, we go and see. That's everything, I think. Let me shut the fuck up. End the video here. Take care, everyone. I love you all. See you on the next video. Goodbye.